shaped like Echo would be for you. Who else would it be for? Echo. <laughs> Today's her birthday. Are you doing anything special? Yes. <laughs> All this is for her. And when Echo sees it, she'll be so touched, it will be the perfect time to finally tell her how I feel about her. <laughs> that she's the sweetest, kindest, smartest, prettiest, most perfect girl in the world. And I can't imagine living the rest of my life without her. Then you should do something special for her birthday. Ooh, is that cake for Derby? Echo, uh, happy birthday. Echo, since the day we met, I knew we were destined to be more than just friends. You mean the world to me, and I hope I also hold a special place in your heart. Hey, you gave it your best shot. Who knows what's in a woman's head? Mmm, <laughs> marzipan. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you want the face? I don't get it. How could this happen? I don't know. <laughs> I just started eating and couldn't stop. <laughs> Pass me her foot. I know I've been moving slowly, but I really thought I had a shot with Echo. I guess she just doesn't see me that way. Well, first impressions are everything. The day you met Echo, she didn't see you as the kind of guy you date. She saw you as some dorky science freak. In other words, she saw you. So that's it? She'll never think of me as more than a teacher or a friend? Never's a long time. And yes. <laughs> Sorry, man. You only get one chance to make a first impression. Well, I guess I did all this for nothing. You did all this for me? <laughs> Come on, old lady. Eat the cat! <laughs> <laughs> Russell Fenway? What are you doing? This old lady, she swallowed a fly. <laughs> I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. <laughs> Et. Diet. After eating all those delicious animals. <laughs> like this cat. <laughs> Come on, old lady, you act like you've never eaten a cat before. <laughs> Professor, it's me, Adam. Adam! What brings you back to the university? I was wondering if you needed an extra lab assistant. <laughs> Any big experiments coming up? Well, tomorrow I'll be dissecting the cadaver of an old lady. <laughs> no one you know. <laughs> I think I made a mistake becoming a science teacher. I wanted the high school experience, but I just keep striking out with this girl I like. That is the high school experience. <laughs> just ask all of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would have told me you were dropping in. I would have baked a pie. That's okay, I... Uh... Here, Adam, have some pie. I thought you said you didn't bake a pie. I did, didn't. But then I will have did. Huh? Obviously, after you leave, I traveled back in time, baked a pie, and left it in that drawer in anticipation of your visit. You built a time machine? Shh, not in front of the... Uh... Old lady? No, the cow. The old lady's not gonna tell anyone, she'll be dead. <laughs> How do you do it? The secret is using cold, pea-sized morsels of shortening and layering them between the dough. Not how do you make such a flaky pie crust. How do you travel through time? You have to show me the time machine. OK, come with me. <laughs> this is the time machine? What? No, 
This is where I keep my car keys. <laughs> Whoa. This is the time machine? No, this is my car. I keep the time machine in the glove compartment. This is the time machine. <laughs> You only get one chance to make a first impression. You only get one chance to make a first impression. You only get one chance to make a first... Hello? Hey, Adam. I'm just calling to tell you that I changed your ringtone to remind you that you only get one chance to make a first impression. <laughs> Professor Fenway, you have to let me borrow your time machine. This might be my only opportunity to change my destiny and experience true love. Sorry, this device can alter the course of human events. You can't just use it to satisfy every frivolous whim. You just used it to bake a pie. <laughs> or pie. So, as we progress through the animal kingdom, Where's my fly? <sighs> Looks like I owe someone an apology. <laughs> Sorry, horse. It appears I've wasted your time. <laughs> toga, toga, toga. Can I help you? I'm just a typical college student here to learn college things. <laughs> oh, no. Someone has stolen my college stuff. <laughs> what, sis? Has there been a spot of pilfering a book? <laughs> I'll have to step into me call box and file a report with Scotland Yard. <laughs> Where in tarnation is my automobile? <laughs> I am a wealthy Texas oil man who has no time for dillion and or dallion. <laughs> Don't worry, mister. I parked it right up front where I could keep an eye on it. <laughs> Well, thank you, young man. Here's a bag of oil for your trouble. <laughs> now to use my fancy sports car to pick up a cute bikini-clad girl. <laughs> or a mechanic. So we can also get in the car and check out that strange noise coming from the glove compartment. Nope, bikini. <laughs> Sure, I'll check out that strange noise coming from the glove compartment. I think we're in the clear. You can stop inching forward. I'm not inching forward. I just don't know how to drive. <laughs> okay. I just need to travel back in time to my first day at Finnegan and meet Echo before the me of that time period does. That way, I can make a better first impression. Whoa! A device that makes teachers disappear. Awesome! <laughs> Whoa! No! What's wrong with you, kid? You don't do that to a person. Have we met before now? No. And you do not make a very good first impression. <laughs> That's the last time I wear musk deodorant. <laughs> Who's slab? 
Imagine if Godzilla and Bigfoot had a baby. I didn't even know they were dating. Hey, Hutch. What's for lunch, nerds? Hey, Slav, you oversized half-wit. Derby! While I acknowledge my size and my intellectual shortcomings, I can't help but feel a little blind with rage right now. I didn't say it. I think it was him. I didn't say it. Well, it sounded like your voice. I would never call a student an oversized half-wit. I'm a teacher. <laughs> a kid teacher. What do you think I am, an oversized half-wit? <laughs> Wow, you're quick. And you clean up nice. <laughs> Hello, class. My name is Mr. Young. Welcome to grade nine science. Uh... Yes, I'm a kid, 14, a genius. No, we're not making a monster. <laughs> enough work for today, class dismissed. <laughs> wow, having a kid teacher is cool. Give me your juice box, nerd board. <laughs> this isn't over. I know where you live. I know I'm late, but I was on the bus when a flock of bats swooped down and... The teacher's not even here yet. Hi there. I'm Adam. I'm Echo. That's a beautiful name. For a beautiful girl. <laughs> Thank goodness you didn't make that lame, corny joke everyone else does when they meet me. Echo, Echo, Echo. Is there an Echo in here, or is it just you? <laughs> I would never do something like that again. Mr. Young, shouldn't you be in class already? Not a very good first impression. Uh-oh. Um, you know what? I remember seeing an aluminum can mixed in with the regular garbage. I gotta go take care of it. I'm really into recycling. Me too! Here's my class. Excuse me for a second. Wow, that really was a second. <laughs> and you obviously dove into that can. That is commitment. I didn't catch your name. It's Echo. Echo, Echo, Echo. <laughs> is there an Echo in here or is it just you? <laughs> 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 okay, I think I did it. Here she comes. Happy birthday, Echo! The next lunch up for bid once belonged to Derby. <laughs> it contains a bologna sandwich, a fruit ball, and a box of fruit ball juice. <laughs> Plus, a note from his mommy telling him to finish all his lunch. Sorry, mommy. <laughs> this lunch is valued at $3.50. We'll start the bidding at $20. $20. <laughs> we have $20. Do I hear 50? I said, do I hear 50? 50. Sold to the hungry looking kid in the back row. Toby, we need to talk. Why is Echo mad at me? You know why. Tell me anyway. I want to hear it in your beautiful flowery words. 
Thanks for noticing. <laughs> Echo's been mad at you since the night you guys broke up. Broke up? You mean we dated? And I missed it? What are you talking about? You didn't miss it. The day you guys met, it was love at first sight. So I made a good first impression? Yeah. Which is weird, because you're terrible at impressions. They all sound like a bad Morgan Freeman. Especially your Morgan Freeman. And though the penguins continue to march, climate change could bring them to the brink of extinction by the year 2100. Sold to Morgan Freeman for $2,100. So if Echo and I got together, why did we break up? I don't get it. What kind of person doesn't remember stuff that they experienced themselves? What did I teach in science class yesterday? Well played, sir. <laughs> it was the night of the talent show. I was awesome as daring, daredevil, demolition derby. But Echo has a terrible singing voice. So I went on stage during her song to drown her out and save her from embarrassment. But she thought I did it to steal her limelight. Who's telling this story? <laughs> but in this timeline, we were dating. So she must have felt betrayed and kicked your sorry behind on the curb. <laughs> and kept on kicking. Echo hates me now? Yeah, it's too bad because you guys were a really great couple. Always kissing and stuff. Kissing and stuff? I've heard good things about stuff. <laughs> I've got to go fix this. Not so fast, Mr. Freeman. Pay up. Or you won't get through the rest of your bucket list. <laughs> Our next performer is the one and only Ivy Young. <laughs> Ivy, you can't just stand there texting. You have to have an actual talent. This is my talent. I'm the world's first texting comic. <laughs> From space. Ah! <laughs> Not cool, man. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Hey, you're leaving in the middle of the show? Do I come to where you work and disrespect you? Every day. <laughs> well played, sir. <laughs> Derby, I need your help with Echo. Tired of all that kissing and want me to fill in? <laughs> Not just kissing, all that kissing. <laughs> I need you to go on stage when Echo is singing and drown her out. That way, she won't be ridiculed and she also won't blame me. No can do. People are expecting to be wowed by Demolition Derby tonight. I'll wow them. You? You've never wowed anyone. Mostly you. <sighs> them. <laughs> Just give me the outfit. <laughs> I just need to make sure the other Adam doesn't also go on stage with Echo. I need to outsmart him. This thing keeps hitting me in the eye. But how? We're two equally matched intellectual giants. I'm just going to keep it in my pocket. <laughs> that should do it. Do you need the underpants too? Up next, Daredevil Extraordinaire, Demolition Derby. For generations, Daredevils have thrilled audiences by walking across a high wire. Today, I, Demolition Derby, will go them one better and walk across this low wire. That's impressive. But show some respect for circus tradition. <laughs> Maybe I should keep this in my back pocket. No. 
Now get up to that high wire. Watch out for those power lines. What's happening? Uh, you fell in a puddle. I'm your reflection. Ripple, ripple. The power's out, but I don't need a microphone to sound great. I can do an intimate, unplugged performance. That's a great idea. Everyone, please welcome our headliner, the always effervescent Echo. I live in a closet in the hall So sad it makes this month fall <laughs> Butterflies have it so much better Gonna drown my sorrows in a cashmere sweater I wish I were a butterfly Fly, fly, fly Fly, fly, fly Drawn to the flame I die, die, die I wish I were a butterfly! It burns! It worked! She's mad at Derby! I mean... Ripple, ripple. Ripple. try to steal my limelight just because your daredevil stunt was so lame. Lame? <laughs> I mean, how dare you do that to my girlfriend? <laughs> Drowning out her beautiful voice. Mom, you're the best. <laughs> Echo? Adam? Uh, yes, that was me. I can throw my voice. And for my next amazing feat, I will exit this way and then immediately enter from that direction. <laughs> okay, here goes, again. <laughs> Happy birthday, Echo. Mr. Tater, what was that for? For showing your face around here. You know you were fired. <laughs> Ooh, cake. 